everyone welcome back to another italy vlog this is part three and we are in firenze we arrived in the evening so we went straight to dinner at mercato centrale which is like a huge modern food court area with diverse cuisine options lard and anchovy oh, I don't want to I to go for pizza. This looks so good. And we finally caved into getting a bottle of Coke with it because it's going to be very cheesy. Then we did some nighttime exploring, which is our favorite way of getting acquainted with the new Italian city. The next morning, we grabbed a breakfast on the go. Look at these tiny cappuccino cups, except they're actual cappuccino cups for humans. We gathered along the Tiber River and went on a super comfortable bus, which would take us 20 minutes outside of the city to our Vespa tour location. To reach the outskirts of Florence, that's where our garage is located. It's a garage. The more you move, the way to the back, the harder will be the Vespa to be handled. Back brake. Harder. Engine is on. I can show you something. The people that want to make a very good extra virgin olive oil. No, not the green one, too green. Mm. So here, there will be a lot of juice. Here, right in the middle, quite a lot of juice already, but inside is still green. So this is the best moment. Eh? Table oil. Table oil. With the car. Oh, it's so bitter. Science. 
you're a GoPro? <laughs> the valley till those white houses That's at the crazy. bottom there Bro. then to the right That's crazy. all around that big house with all the cypress trees around and that's where we stop in the olive grove <laughs> to lunch. Wow, parking lot. Vespa Circle. Day 3 was full of exploration through the famous museums and galleries of Florence. We started off by visiting the Galleria dell'Accademia to appreciate the sculptures by Michelangelo. Specifically, Dennis really wanted to see the statue of David. It's crazy how much detail is put into these statues, including the veins, muscles, and movement. And the part that still baffles me is how this could all be carved out of precious and delicate marble at such scale too. This room is full of plaster sculptures that were built as prototypes prior to carving them out of marble. It's amazing to see how romantically they've captured the human body and emotions. I especially loved how they sculpted the women and children. 
We then headed off to our tour number two of the Duomo. The cathedral and its green, red, and white color scheme has to be one of my favorite architectural styles I saw in Italy. It's bright and majestic with such beautiful accent colors. It was definitely umbrella weather, so this day was perfect for indoor exploration. We were super grateful that the rain had waited for us to get our outdoor adventure days completed and lightly sprinkled on us today. If anything, the rain made it feel even more cozy and moody inside. We climbed up to the top of the dome through long flights of stairs and winding spirals. Based on the level of huffing and puffing, I was sure that we were at the top, but nope. We were just at the entry of the dome. We were able to admire the dome from the inside before we continued the trek up to the top. The painting on the ceiling, the stained glass windows, the view of the church looking down were all definitely worth all the steps. This time, as we continued up the steps, we could definitely tell that we were sandwiched between the inner and outer wall of the round dome. Finally, we got to the top and were met by a breathtaking view of Florence. This was so different from the city views that we saw at the top of Rome, which had a variety of colors throughout the houses. In Florence, all the roofs were red and all the buildings were cream or white, and there were green accents here and there. All beautiful in a very different style. After a lengthy tour and bunch of stairs, we were totally famished, so we decided to grab some pork sandwiches at a place that we'd passed by multiple times and had been eyeing. I got the one with the black truffle and Dennis got a spicy red sauce one. It was both challenging but memorable eating on the side of the street while trying to balance an umbrella. Dennis was definitely unleashing a savage sight. On our way to the next tour, we walked across the famous Ponte Vecchio, which has beautiful jewelry stores along both sides. I don't know why, but when I see this bridge from the outside, it feels like the stores are going to crumble off. And for dessert, we grabbed our daily dose of gelato. Next rainy day stop. Sun kiss my face, wishing for the real thing. Lonely and out of place when I don't have you with me. Does your heart say the same on all these nights alone? Found the most chubby raviolis ever in all of Italy. And so I had the great idea of going back to the bell tower. While Dennis was sleeping, I decided to escape to the city for one last time. Do you wanna try to follow the line and 
It is early. Uh, it's not that early, but it's raining a lot and there's a lot of many people out. We're heading to the bell tower for one last entry, hopefully. Follow the sound and go round and round. All I'm giving is for your living. Give some healing, focus a little. Keep forgetting, trust is a feeling. Give some healing, focus a little. Calling for you, you're my melody. Singing softly in the air, I breathe. Finding peace in my This is good exercise first thing in the morning. <sighs> that wasn't the end. We gotta go all the way up to the terrace. And yeah. Second false alarm. There's another opening and then we have to still continue up to the terrace. But we're a bit further up now. Please let this be the real one. Are we on the terrace yet? No. There's another one. This never ends. What's down here? This looks so scary. Whoa. Let's continue. This has to be the terrace. Now we're at the real terrace. Oh, it's raining. You made it. Wow. I know you'll be there for me. where we were yesterday. Hello, past Irene and Dennis. We made it to the top. <laughs> Seriously, so beautiful, but gotta head home because it's going to be time to hop on the train to go to Bologna. Nice turn to clear up. Then I scurried back to our Airbnb because I did not want to miss our train. But before I left, I thought I'd be sad if I don't remember where we stayed. Because this Airbnb was quite lovely too. You go up these lovely flights of stairs with very decorative railings. It takes you to our apartment on the second floor. This place was two-story loft and again, the owners took creative liberty to make it modern inside glass stairs which are kind of scary because you can totally fall off but also kind of cool and moody you head to the second floor which has a nice little secondary lounge area which we never use but it's nice to get a view of the downstairs and by the way the view from the window and then you go here where there is a laundry room much bigger washer this time and then this long hallway that has a bunch of storage over to the left which leads to the restroom and then a bedroom and it leads to this patio which we never used the only time i went out here was the initial tour but it's still beautiful it's nice to know that we had